Today we are going to look at some really fun PowerPoint tips that will up your game as a data analyst. The first one is how to make this sort of a status indicator or a progress chart with PowerPoint. The second one is how to create these kind of filled graphs inside icons or shapes like man and woman icons that I have here. And the third one is when you are showing some numbers in a slide, how to zazz them up. So you create this kind of a nice sliding effect with the numbers and focus on one number at a time. Let's go. So here I have got a blank presentation with the three slides that we are going to develop. In the first slide, we want to say customers love chocolate coated almonds and show a 80% satisfaction rating as a donut chart. So we'll go to insert and click on the chart and select the pie and choose the donut option. Click OK. You're going to get a default donut chart with the data entry window up top. Let's just expand this out and you can see that it has four rows. We only need two. One is 80% and the other is 20%. So I'm going to select these two rows, right click and delete them. And here I'm going to say 80%. And this next one will write a formula one minus that cell so that if this is 80 that will automatically be 20 percent let's add some labels here all right our data setup is now done we can close this window and we will get this nice little donut chart here and let's take out the title because that is not required as well as the legend so we're only looking at the donut the next thing that we are going to do is select this orange colored portion you'll need to click on it twice to just pick the orange portion and go to the format and fill it with a dull color like that. Then I'm going to select this blue one. Again, you'll need to click twice. And let's change this to this orange color here. And we can also add a shadow effect around it. I'm going to add this kind of a shadow effect and take the outline of that. So now our basic setup is done. We'll also want to add a label in the middle to indicate that this is 80%. For this, we are going to use a text box and draw a big text box in the middle and type the words 80% there. Let's make this nice and big. Now that all the numbers are here, let's create some animations so that we can pop these numbers. Go to the animations panel and we are going to add a wheel animation. This is going to apply that kind of a wheel animation. Right now, this animation is too long, about two seconds. We're going to make it one second. We would also like to animate this 80% into the graph. For this, a float animation works great. And now let's go to the animation panel here to see everything. If you click on play all, you can see how that works. Now the animations are happening one after another. I want them to happen simultaneously. So I'll select this 80% animation line here. And then the trigger is on click. I'll change this to with previous with a delay of 0.25 seconds. Let's test this again. That looks great. If you want, you can also add some labels underneath here to say that this is 80% satisfaction rating. Let's go to the next one. Here I have got a female customers are more loyal slide with 55% loyalty for male customers and 75% for female. We could add the labels here, but I thought it will be fun if we can add an image and fill the values inside that image. For this, we are going to use the icon feature of PowerPoint. Just go to the insert ribbon and click on icon and search for man. This looks good. Let's search for woman and let's select that icon as well. Let's add these two icons. I'll move the man icon here and the woman icon here. We would want to make these icons big enough so that we can actually fill inside that icon. We'll start with the man icon. Once this is big enough, we want to also add a shape around it. So for this, I'm going to go to the insert, select a rounded rectangle and draw a big rounded rectangle around the man icon. We'll center this, adjust the roundness a bit and let's change the color to something like that without any outline. Right click and let's send this back. Now select this icon, right click and then say convert to shape. When you convert to the shape, it will create a grouped object with individual aspects of the icon. So select this and ungroup it so that you have all the individual shapes. Let's start by selecting this big rounded rectangle first. Hold shift and select these two shapes as well. 
don't select the chart and then go to the shape format merge shapes and subtract them what we have done is we have subtracted the man icon from the rounded rectangle so now our rounded rectangle has got a man shaped hole inside it kind of like a manhole all right all the ingredients are now ready you can just select the chart and send it to the back and here you have got a chart that is filling inside the man we can adjust the chart so that it kind of fits perfectly with the shape and you will get 55 percent filled man you can apply the same technique for women as well and there is our filler chart with male and female loyalty levels how cool is this now for the third one let's say you have a slide with three important numbers to show rather than create something that looks dull and simple like this i'll show you a really simple technique that will elevate this message first create the slide with all the numbers just as you want and then duplicate this slide for that you can select the slide here and press ctrl d to create a duplicate slide in the second slide just select the first box and highlight it i'm gonna for example highlight it in this color and let's make this box a little bit bigger and let's make this text also bigger simultaneously we are going to select these two boxes and make them a little smaller and if needed move them around once you got the messaging the way you want you can also change the title of the slide to indicate what you are highlighting so for example here i'm talking about loyal customers i can say two in three customers love us after you have set up the slide like that you can select the slide here and then go to the transitions and apply a morph transition this is gonna smoothly adjust everything from the previous slide so that you'll get that kind of a transition you can adjust the morph effects so from effect options here instead of objects i'm going to use the character option you'll see that it creates a nice animation on the title as well and you can fix the duration two seconds is too long in my opinion let's go with one second and let's preview this again that feels snappy and once you have one slide like that you can again make a duplicate of that by pressing ctrl d and adjust everything in the second slide And as we have duplicated the slide, the morph effect is also duplicated. So you can see the preview of the one box going smaller and the middle box becoming bigger. And when you do this for all the three slides, you'll get a lovely effect like this with each box growing bigger with a different messaging on the top. Let me know what you think about these tricks in the comments below. I'll catch you elsewhere. Bye-bye.